The Watch Breakfast Central, time for some COVID updates. And we do have our man who has been combing around the African continent, checking out what the latest story is concerning this deadly virus. Uh, Michael Ngane joins us this morning. Good morning to you, Michael. What yeah. is the latest? Yeah, good morning, guys. So um, I'm going to take this off so you can see the excitement on my face because I bring you good news from you know, the African continent where the World Health Organization has said that the sub-Saharan Africa has witnessed a significant decrease in COVID-19 cases. And I must say that this is indeed good news. And of course, they have, the death uh, you know, numbers have actually reduced. But it's said that Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria, and Egypt are all, of course, are still witnessing a big surge. Now, according to World Health COVID-19 incident manager in Southern um, you know, uh, Sudan, Sacha Bootsman, he said that countries in Africa, Southern Africa, have seen a decline, as you can see on your screen. And of course, the decline represents 41%. East Africa has also seen a reduction by 47%. Central Africa has seen a reduction by 68%. And of course, West Africa has seen a decline by 60%. It's important that we note that over 336 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines has been administered in Africa. And of course, um, they surely represent about 65% of the available doses now over 143 million people are fully vaccinated in africa which represents around 10.6 percent of the continent's population even as the continent accounts for 3.4 of the 9.9 .9 billion covid 19 vaccine doses that have been administered globally oluchi and joe i must tell you that this is indeed big news what do you think good news yeah, yeah uh, because I think I'm, I'm excited though yeah because because it's what we're hoping for. We're, we're heading. We're looking forward to herd immunity, and yeah. if we start to achieve these figures, it shows that we're getting closer. Mm -hmm. We are really, really getting closer because I brought you a report on Monday where you know South Africa launched uh, a, a, a vaccine plant right there, and of course the aim is to have over one billion doses of a fully made in Africa vaccine, and of course that means that. You know, Africans now do. We don't have to, you know, start waiting for the Western world to give us vaccines. So this is indeed good news. And from another good news, we are still going on to another good news. Now in Kenya, the country has surpassed its COVID-19 vaccine target for, you know, health workers as thousands of the employees heeded the call to take the jobs. I wish this could actually happen in other parts of Africa, including Nigeria. Now the Ministry of Health, in an update, noted that over 237,000 health workers in the East African nation are fully vaccinated now on the line that word fully vaccinated against the target of you know 204,000, representing a vaccination rate of 114 percent now the health workers who mainly comprise doctors nurses clinical officers you know top of the list who are fully vaccinated among frontline workers and of course are you know priority groups while the others are teachers security workers and also the elderly people in the country. That was actually expected. Now, in November last year, the World Health Organization observed that only one in every four African health workers we are fully vaccinated against the COVID-19, leaving the bulk of the workforce on the front lines unprotected. But Kenya has somehow, somehow overcome this. Now, that is actually nice. And um, we're hoping that uh, the elderly ones, you know, get to take these vaccines, probably get all the help they need because the aim of all of this move is to ensure that we kick off and, of course, uh, get to eliminate this uh, virus from the African continent. But before I wrap up, let's go to the numbers and let you know what the numbers are saying as regards the numbers in, in terms of cases, deaths and recoveries. Now, according to Africa CDC, that is the body that's been monitoring the development of the COVID-19 pandemic in the African continent, the continent has recorded over 11.09 million cases with over 240,000 deaths reported and the number of recoveries stand at 9.9 .9 million. We can actually do more in making sure that, um, you know, we all stay safe. So that is all of the updates I have for you. But I must tell you guys that that news of the decline is really, really one that everyone should celebrate at this time. Very yeah, encouraging. Totally agree. Very yeah. encouraging, Mike. Totally agree. Very encouraging. Highly, highly, but, highly But I mean, at this point in time, this doesn't mean we should feel relaxed and Exactly. And I was going to say that. We Please don't do away with this. We still need to be on high alert. This and we is need still to very important. We need to ensure yeah. that we keep COVID as far away from us as possible. Yeah, and I think it's also important that, you know, governments across the continent, you know, get to do more in terms of sensitization. Let people know that these vaccines are actually safe for them. It's not, no one is trying to use it to probably manhunt or, you know, witch hunt or you know, get to bring you down. It's just for you to stay safe. The vaccines are safe. If you've not taken it, please go ahead 
you know, get vaccinated. If your country permits the booster shot, the third dose, come on, go ahead and take it. It doesn't kill. It's all for your safety. That's right. That's right. Thanks, Mike, for preaching the word of uh, ensuring that many of us do get that vaccine and like we have actually done. Thank you once again for being here on Breakfast Central. Thank you so much. At the bar. You could say that uh, it, it's good to be a messenger of glad tidings and sharing information, letting people know that we indeed are achieving that said goal, especially that of herd immunity.